All right, we want to try and figure out what the tension in each of these ropes is. So this is going to be a uh, built-in support. So this isn't going to move anywhere. So is this, uh, this wall over here, not moving. And we have a 10 kilogram mass hanging off this other rope. So we will be able to find the tension in this rope really easily. And then we'll use that to find the tension in the other two ropes. So first of all, we need to draw a free body diagram. Free body diagram. First of all, we will draw our coordinate axis and define our positive directions, positive x and positive y. And then what we can do is we can just go ahead and draw the point. We'll draw the free body diagram at the point because that will be the easiest. Uh, so we're going to have the one tension going up at 30 degrees. We'll have one tension going this way. That's this rope. And we'll have another tension pulling straight down. Okay, so we remember that this angle here is 30 degrees. We can even draw that if we want. Just like that. 30 degrees. Okay, so let's label these. Let's call this guy F1, let's call this one F2, and this one we know we'll call this the weight of this object, and that's going to be its mass times acceleration, so we will have 10 times 9.81, it's acceleration due to gravity. Uh, so this, its weight will actually be 98.1 newtons. Okay. So what we're going to need to do is we'll balance, because this is in static equilibrium, nothing in the system is accelerating in any direction. It's all just going to stay put. So we know that our sum of forces in the x direction are going to be equal to 0, and the sum of forces in the y direction are going to be equal to 0. So we can write that. Sum of forces in y equals 0, and sum of forces in x equals 0. Now what we need to do is we'll do this one at a time. And you'll see if we're, we don't know what f1 and f2 are. So if we're trying to find the sum of forces in the x direction, well, the weight only has a y component. So we're going to be trying to solve for two unknowns with one equation, and we won't be able to do that just yet. But what we can do, first of all, is we can identify that force 2 has an x component and a y component. right? This is simply a vector pointing at 30 degrees. So we're going to have f2x is going to look like that, and we're going to have another one, um, f2y, going up in this direction. So by uh, just by breaking this down, we're going to know that this is definitely equal to f2 times sine of 30. Right, that's just simple vector vector addition and Pythagoras. Uh, and then also for the bottom one here, we're going to have f2x. Uh, the x component of f2 is going to equal f2 cos of 30. All right. So now what we can look at is we're going to have, we have two components, two vectors in the y direction, the red one here and this black one, and we have two in the x direction, this black one and this blue one. But we already know the one of the y direction ones, so let's go ahead and solve for the sum of forces in the y direction first. So what we can do, we can even do this in red just to kind of keep it consistent. So our sum of forces in the y direction is going to be equal to zero. So let's just add all of them together and put it equal to zero. So we're going to have negative 98.1 because it's going against the positive direction. So we have negative 98.1 plus this positive vector. It's going up in the positive y direction. So we're going to have plus f2 sine 30. And this is all going to be equal to 0, right? Because these are canceling each other out. And thus, we're not accelerating up or down in the y direction. So if we just isolate for f2, we're going to have f2 is equal to 98.1 over sine 30. And when you calculate that, just type it into your calculator and you will get it is 196.62. So there we go. We actually just calculated F2. And that is this diagonal, the resultant, or the whole entire force pointing in 30 directions. Uh, if we want to know F2y, you simply just multiply it by sine 30. So, but we're actually looking for the tension in the rope. So that's perfect. We now know what F2 is. Okay, so now let's look at the sum of forces in the x direction, which now we can solve because if we know what, if we know what F2 is, then we can simply find what F2x is by multiplying it by cos 30. So our force balance in the x direction, we're going to have negative F1 because it's pointing in the negative x direction. So we'll say negative F1 uh, is going to be plus f2 cos 30. This is all equal to zero. If this is not equal to zero, this is going to be accelerating in one of these directions. 
And just for your information, this is uh, we're studying statics here, so it's always going to be equal to zero. Otherwise, we're not going to be in static equilibrium, uh, and that's a topic of a different course. So, but our force balances are always going to equal zero when we're talking about statics. So, anyways, let's isolate for our what are we looking for here? We're looking for F1. So we'll say that F2 is here. So we have 196.62 times cos 30 is going to be equal to F1. So if you go and calculate that, 196.62 times cos of 30, you're going to get F1 is equal to 169.91 newtons. And those are our two answers. So we can even just write them, we can write them up here. Oh, let's do a different color even. So F2 is going to equal 196.62 newtons and F1 is equal to 169.91 newtons. And something also a good habit to get into is uh, just even though you have the positive number here, it's a good thing just to write the direction. So for example, uh, F1 is pointing in this direction and we have F2 is pointing in this direction and you can even if you really want you can say 30 degrees. Um, if you had a negative number ever for a force, that means just the direction you assumed will be the opposite direction, but it'll be the same magnitude. But we don't have to worry about that yet because we're just dealing with the ropes and they always have to be in tension. So anyways, uh, this is the solution to the problem. We found force one, force two, and if you're curious to see, you know, why is this the answer, then simply just go take this number, F2, multiply it by sine 30, and you'll see that you get 98.1. And you'll find that uh, if you add those together in opposite directions, then they're going to cancel and equal zero. So your system uh, would definitely be in static equilibrium. And same thing, you can do that in the x direction as well.